Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Snake. Today's video is our standard video going over everything that's coming out for this week. Usually it's VIP stuff, but this week is actually a pretty hectic. Now, just to start off, I know I know it's basically what a lot of people are talking about right now. But in case you didn't know, uh, this week is a competitive raid week. However, what makes this week different compared to every other raid week that we usually have is that this time we are actually directly competing with the JP version of the game. Now, I know a lot of people were very uh, skeptical, including myself, were kind of like worried and skeptical as to like, how exactly was this going to be addressed? Uh, primarily because of the fact that, at least bef yesterday, the game was in a state of imbalance uh, in a lot of people's eyes, including myself. Partially because of the fact that JP at the time had the second wave of seven star buffs um, and we had it yet. As of right now, if in case any of you do have seven star medals and such already, uh, if you take a look at them right now, you will see that they actually have a higher multiplier than they were beforehand. Um, and that is because that we did, upon reset today, get the second wave of seven star buffs. For those of you that are wondering as to like, what are some of the multipliers for the big named damage metals and stuff, such as Warrior Light, for example. I'll have a picture of it up on the screen. His multiplier range, just counting his 30% guilt buff that he has uh, for himself and his multiplier, uh, he has a range of 39.70 to a 50.09 multiplier range. That's insane. And that's not including other metals that are just clearly uh, typically stronger than most tier 4 metals, such as like Lingering Will, for example. So there's a lot of really good candidates right now. Uh, I know the last few days, PvP has been predominantly uh, dominated by the Prime Axel medal. Um, but as of right now, Prime Axel is still really good, the 7 star version, in PvP anyways. But at the very least, all these other 7 star medals are definitely going to be coming back and making resurgence all of a sudden again. Which is a good thing because I did think it was a little bit unbalanced that one medal uh, received the 7 star buff, but the rest of the game didn't. And to me, that was... That was a bit of an imbalance in my opinion. Just to give you guys a little bit of specifics as to how exactly the competition between Global and JP is going to work. Uh, what they have right here, besides the rewards that we can get in the boards uh, for just doing the raid boss and such. Uh, so they have it that when you beat the raid boss at level 99, you will get a ton of raid coins. Kind of similar to how we have in the past where if you beat the level 90 raid boss, you get 10,000 coins. Uh, there's going to be something similar for this week's raid boss as well. One thing that they made sure to mention in order to help make sure that there's no unfair advantages, at least because of time zones and such, they made it so that there are no bonus times at all whatsoever this week. So feel free to adjust your party's uh, Lux Boost Hour if needed to help make things easier for your party members. So they briefly announced in their Twitter post, but there are gonna be some large prizes involved for whoever ends up being the winner between Global and JP. Uh, haven't really announced what it is going to be just yet, so I'm kind of curious as to that. Uh, I believe I saw on the JP version of the tweet they mentioned jewels. Uh, I don't know if that's actually going to be true for global or not, so it's kind of kind of curious. Uh, but you should also know that this is only phase one of the competition. There's actually going to be multiple phases. I don't know the actual number of phases. Uh, I just know that ra the raid boss week that we have going on this week is not the only thing that's going to be uh, counted towards the competition. So we'll we'll have to wait and see. Just to continue on with the rest of the updates that we got for this week, we are getting the a new Union Cross, but it does come along with the Stroke of Midnight booster. Now in terms of VIP, we are getting the Toon, Sora, and Goofy medal uh, for VIP this week along with 1400 extra jewels. In case you don't know what the medal does, here's what it looks like and we'll get read the description real quick. It's a Magic Upright Metal Tier 8 deals 4 hits, and for one turn, it raises your general strength by 7 and upright strength by 3. Inflicts more damage with one enemy left, including raid bosses, and removes target status effects. It is single target, costs 5 gauges, and has a multiplier range of 13.76 to a 24.16. And this is the 6 star version, I should add. Now for any of you wondering, I will be having a metal analysis article and video coming out sometime soon for this metal. I'm also going to have one out for the new... Uh, copycat medals that I'll be discussing in a second as well. So if you want to learn more about the medal and what I think about it, go ahead and check that out later on. But as of right now, the quick mentions that I want to state about this medal 
is that it's pretty much almost an exact version of the FFRK Terra medal that we got during the FFRK collaboration event. The only difference between this medal and that medal and like Warrior of Light for instance and stuff is that it, this medal does not provide any of the upright defense down debuffs that FFRK Terra and Warrior of Light do. Now it does have the same multiplier range as FFRK Terra and Warrior of Light um, and it does provide strength buffs like they do as well. The main difference between these two medals, however, is the fact that this medal, the Toon Sword and Goofy medal, does remove target status effects. Now, this is probably going to be very useful for PvP. Uh, but other than that, we're going to move on and talk about the rest of PvP, which is going. We're getting the Illustrated Marluxia EX medal as well as the Kingdom Hearts Three Sword EX medal as well again for this week's VIP. We're getting the standard uh, Broom Steel, the Gems and Mirrors, pretty much staple VIP stuff at this point. And last but not least, we need to talk about this new banner that we got going on for this week, uh, and which is called the Imitation Metal Deal, which is basically, in a nutshell, the Beginner's Deal and the Top Drawer Deal just combined into one banner, more or less. For those of you that are curious, the two new medals that we received for today, or for this week, I should say, for this banner, is going to be the Beagle Boys right here, as well as the Pride Lands heat metal right here as well these are the two new copy metals we have now the main thing that you guys need to know about these two copy metals is that pete right here is a tier four uh copy metal and he's a backwards copy metal so realistically he's he's just a very terrible version of the uh HD Riku replica that we already have in the game that's right here okay if you already have Riku replica don't don't worry about pete Pete is garbage <laughs> compared to Riku Replica. Uh, and that is simply because of the fact that Riku Replica is a tier 8 metal compared to Pete being a tier 4 metal. And when it comes to copycat metals, copycat metals are the only metals in the game where tier actually matters because it affects the guilt percentage. Um, so the higher the guilt percentage that a copy metal has, the more uh, damage potential that it has as well. Aside from Pete, we do have the Bigaboys Boys metal. Uh, over here and this metal right here guys is the very first metal in the history of the game for global at least in which we finally finally have a speed reverse metal in the game this is huge in some ways more than others primarily because of the fact now it finally opens doors uh, for a few Keyblades who've been struggling simply because of the fact we don't have any speed reverse copy metals um, such as Lady Luck Divine Rose, Stroke of Midnight, and Missing Ink, of course. The main reason why I think that these guys are so low tier is to basically make up for the fact that Global doesn't have these type of medals that JP's basically had for the longest time. But in terms of whether or not you should actually pull from this banner, all right, let's go to the shop real quick. So this is currently the shop, and as you guys can tell right now, the banners are worth 3,000 jewels each pull. They are not falling price deal and every time you pull from the banner, you get a copy medal, one of the 11 copy medals, on top of getting any other 9 random medals, and you also get a broom along with the, each pull. This is what I have to say about the banner. This banner is pretty much mostly meant for beginners, to be honest. Uh, and possibly intermediate players to, as well, depending on like where you are in the game. Every single one of you veterans out there who are watching this video, you, you pretty much more or less already realize and know like this banner is not really worth pulling for. Uh, for you guys so, and simply because of the fact that at this point of the game uh, you and I we're pretty much already have almost all the copy medals we're in no dire need to get the speed reverse copy medal as well um, especially since the fact that yeah it does help on certain keyblades but it, like for the dominant keyblades that we use right now it's not going to see too much play also because of the fact that because we already have most of the copy medals if not all of them aside from the speed reverse one uh, trying to dish out 3,000 jewels every single time for an RNG chance of trying to get the speed reverse one, which is not Mercy Pull, by the way. The Mercy Pull is for Kyrie and Shion EX. It is not for the new copy medals at all whatsoever. So, in my opinion, it's just completely not worth pulling at all whatsoever. It, like, honestly, this is a complete fat skip. I would much rather just save my jewels waiting for the Organization 13 event, which is coming this Wednesday, by the way. It doesn't make any sense at all whatsoever to pull from this banner. If you're a beginner, this might honestly be a really great banner for you, but even then, to be honest, I still don't think this is even worth it for most beginners or even intermediates, primarily because of the fact that if you just scroll down just slightly more below hand, 
Uh, we have the newcomers deal, which is 1500 jewel sets, half off, and you guarantee the key art copy medals, which are great. And then right below that, you have the top drawer deal, in which case you have a chance to get the copy medals anyways. Uh, at the very least, you get some of the most common copy medals anyways. Now, maybe if they gave us something along the lines of like two copy medals per pool, that would be good simply because of the fact there's so many copy medals in the game already. I think for most players, this isn't really that great of a banner. I would probably recommend for all player types to just skip the banner, save your jewels for the Organization 13 event. But other than that, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button is the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from Kin Martin Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. My name is Justin. Peace, guys. Thank you.